Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a forum on your site using the uh, smart object from SWR in Web Plus. This is the website of my of my demo site here. This is the page for the, the forum as you can see. So initially you have to set up access control. I've already set one up here which we will use with the forum. So we're going to start the forum, click new, which will open up the smart objects creation list and then you'll find here forum select it click OK take into the edit window here there's a number of things you need to put in the name this name will be shown on top here of the forum so you, my forum isn't very descriptive is it so you can uh, I put Don D help forum and it's shown there and now we've got forum description There we go. This forum is to help users with problems with Web Plus. Choose your access control. If you've got more than one in your uh, smart objects, then you, you have to choose one. But as I've only got the one, we'll use that. And then click Create. And there it's put in your smart objects where you uh, uh, asked it to be put. Now to put it on your page, you click it, click insert, and then click and drag. On the page. Now we have the, the forum in our smart objects. We need to set up the forum with the categories that we want within it. Select your smart objects tool. Select the forum. Manage. Category name, and then you've got the forum name. So here we're going to start with software. Click update. Category changed at the top there. Now under software we're going to have web plus
web plus problems update forum now if you want to add a new forum this one will will have draw plus and we're going to add that to the software category that's the only the one category at the moment we'll add that there and it should update itself now there we go web plus draw plus now we're going to add a new category and this one we're going to call hardware click add category And under hardware, we're going to add a, a forum, PC, help with PCs, and we're going to put this under the hardware category. Add forum. And you see that it's gone under the hardware category. Uh, um, hard drives. Add to hardware. Add, add the forum. That's it. New category, and we'll call this other. Add category. And we'll have a category. Posts. And we'll choose and put it under other. And add forum to to other. And we'll just put a couple more under. There we go. That's all those categories and forums underneath those categories. So you can add as many as you like. Now underneath this manage dialog, we can choose a theme, silver, green or red. Not much of a choice really, but that's all there is. So if we choose the red, and click update um, and you see at the top here forum privacy you public readable or private and then you set permissions and that's it I've set the permissions as private if we go exit and exit there and we want to preview 
this this uh, forum now preview it there we go that's your forum looking in at the red and you've got software hardware and other and then all the categories under the, the forums underneath that so we've got web plus and as you can see I, I had set it at private and you're not even allowed to go into it unless you log in via the access control which you can put on your site anywhere or view the login control at the top of the the forum so what I'll have to do just so I can show you a bit more is to set the access to it to public readable and then you click set permissions and that's it exit exit and then preview so now I can look in to the forum there's no topics as yet you can see at the bottom here that although if I was uh, if there was items underneath this forum I could read them but as you can see at the bottom here, it says you cannot post new topics in this forum and you cannot reply you cannot edit you cannot delete and you cannot vote because I'm not logged in so that's the difference between being public and private so with the private you couldn't even you couldn't get this far and see the posts within the forum uh, whereas public you can but you can't post until you've logged in right so far I've set the forum up on a on, on a normal web page within your site but what you can do, you can have it as an off-site link and, and I'll show you the difference, how they look once I've set up the off-site link right, to set up an off-site link within, this, within your, your uh, site structure click the small arrow next to the add page new off-site link and the off-site link hyperlink box comes up Collect, select smart objects click none and this should open up your smart objects that are allowed to be used within this uh, hyperlink box so we've got forum select forum and then select at the bottom of the dialogue and that selects the forum in the smart objects here we're just going to add a link and the target window or frame menu name needs is the name that's going to be in the nav bar so we're going to put site forum and we're going to have it open in a new window because there isn't a link back to your site from the off-site link 
So it wanted to open a new window so any users that go to it can close that window and your site will still be there. And we still want it to include in, in navigation. OK that. And there it is there, site forum. And you see I've put a, a nav bar at the top and there's site forum in that nav bar. And we're just viewing the home page at the moment with the the on-site forum placed. So if we click preview, there's the nav bar, and we're on the home page, and that's how the forum looks on your home page. Obviously, depending how the width of the page you're using and the depth of the of the forum so that's it there or to view it as a off-site link forum it open a new window as it has done and it will fill the whole page there I think personally that looks a little bit neater than the on-page uh, forum but it depends on yourself and then people can log in uh, register and whatever so to get back to your home page you have to close this down that's the only good thing about uh, uh, having it the forum on your actual page site page as you've got the navigation now we've set up the forum uh, you may want other members to become moderators so they can look after it uh, as well as yourself now to do this you create a group in the access control and add these members email addresses to this group and if we go to manage the smart object uh, forum you will see underneath each forum description moderated by group now if you if I click the drop down menu you will see I've set up a group here forum moderators now if you select whichever ones you want to be moderated by these members then when they have logged in and see any problems uh, people abusing the forum or someone writing something they shouldn't then they can delete it Well, I think that's it for now. Um, have a go at it and see how you get on. And if you've got any problems, go to my site. Uh, leave any messages on the forum there or use my contact page to send me a message. And I'll try and answer as much as I can. Okay, goodbye.